Hey what is up guys Hades here and today we are back with another video and today is the reboot of our FIFA 15 my player career mode so yeah let's get started just to start with though I'd like to say that this time round is not going to be quite the same as we'll have uh, you know position changes and stuff like that so I'm quickly just going to fast forward through this like this section of the video so you guys can see the player creation and stuff like that as I'm talking. But uh, there we go, Arsenal. Uh, that's not a bad group. I think I had that kind of the same group last time. So uh, before we hit the reboot, uh, download latest. That'll do. Advanced. Right. So it's pretty much uh, the character creation side of things, like our character as such, position and stuff like that. I thought instead of being a Cam this time I would go for a left wing position just because um, I wanted to play in the same team as Mesut Ozil um, because he's my idol and I don't know I've always wanted to play in the same team as him and me playing in Cam means that I'm eventually going to have to push him out of the team um, which I don't want to do so you know playing in a different position would mean I can play alongside him then um, so you know that would be much better but um We'll uh, play in left wing and see how it goes because, you know, I don't know, playing in Cam, our player wasn't bad, but he wasn't great at the same time. But I've actually played a career mode before where I played as a left uh, mid, like a left winger, and I actually got to 95 rated within, like, I'd say a qu just towards the end of the first season. So, you know, I'd say that we've got quite a high chance of getting to an extremely high rating before, well, the end of the first season again. Um, but we will be playing a professional and I will be playing as the entire team and it will not be easy by any means. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Uh, we are going to go with that coloured hair. I haven't even given myself hair yet, what am I doing? Uh, well probably miss time this because yeah you like it'll be a different point on the screen but at this present time I am actually making the uh, hair adjustments but still um so we will be playing on the wing side how does a box to box player have better crossing than a winger I really don't understand that oh well uh, we're gonna go for a five I'm going to be 5 foot 6, um, around 156 pounds I'd say, um, obviously right foot and stuff like that. The reason why I have to reboot the series is because my save corrupted for the first one and yeah I was pretty pissed off, not going to lie, but this time around I will make sure that does not happen because uh, obviously why would I want that to happen? Um, another one of the changes for this series is that I won't be commentating live over the games, so, you know, it won't be the same as last time. Basically, how I'm going to do it this time is I will talk before and after the game, and I will let the games play out, but in highlights, like, I won't let you watch the entire game because that would be boring. Um, basically, what's going to happen is, like, just quick highlights of the games like the goals, close chances, that sort of thing for both teams. Um, or like really, really close shots that hit the bar. Like, you know, like that kind of thing. Like good highlights of the games. And then at the end of the game, I will talk about, you know, how the game went for me, how I thought it was. But I thought instead of me talking over it, I'd let the commentators, you know, like an actual real life game as if you were watching it. Because just, just so you can get that raw feeling like, like you're watching a proper football match instead of someone talking over it, you know? So I thought I'd give it a change, maybe just for one episode, and if it doesn't really work too well, then, you know, I'll change it, so I am doing live commentary over the games, but pretty much that's all I wanted to say, so I'm going to leave you guys um, for now, and I will join you again after this game against Monaco, so let's get straight into it. This is the Arsenal lineup. Mathieu Debussy starts with Monreal in the fullback positions. Jack Wilshire plays with Aaron Ramsey in the centre of the pitch. Danny Welbeck is the sole striker today. Monaco's lineup today 
Elderson Eshiegile starts with Fabinho in the wide defensive positions. Yannick Ferreira Carrasco plays with Nabil Dira out wide. Rale Germain is the lone striker today. change it always looked likely and the injured player departs and the substitute will be uh, bringing fresh legs and a fresh approach to the match Cowan on dog beer and it's going to be his throw here Aaron Ramsey across well defenders done very well to clear that they've got to keep the ball better than this because it's just a giveaway to the opposition and it's passed back again instant judgment and movement by the goalkeeper well his starting position was very good and he showed a nice bit of pace to get out there the advantage given to Arsenal be a throw Cowan has the ball in and towards Urzil Urzil and they've scored and the first goal will be such a boost to them well from Urzil well it is an open goal but he had to keep his concentration and he did the simple thing well Support arriving to the left. He's lost the ball. Danny Welbeck. Cowan. He's backed up here by a player on his right. Fabinho. And he bangs it away. And this is going to be a throw. Second half coming up at the Emirates. Jean Moutinho. Easy decision, free kick. They've got the ball rolling again straight away. Here's the cross in towards Urzil. That goal seems to have given him an extra yard of pace, an extra injection of confidence. Yeah, his movement, the defenders just can't handle it at the moment. Fabinho, substitute coming up for the away team. Tula Long, and quickly back to his feet. Danny Welbeck. Still got an opportunity here after the goalkeeper parried it. Edin Dzeko coming on now for a first touch of the ball at a new club and the first sighting for the fans who are hopefully going to see a new hero. Yeah, and interesting to see how he fits in. I think the team did need a player of his style, so he should be a success. Well, they're still trailing and they need to do something now if they want to get back into this game. Maybe some fresh legs will do the trick. He's reached it and he's caught it with a save. Brilliant. Jean Moutinho. It's a quick break. He's in here. That would be the keeper's ball. Referee is pointed straight to the spot. Penalty given.
Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain. Arsenal's success in this match down to a consistent level of performance and it should provide them with a victory. And there he is, clearing the danger again. Mesut Ozil. And Dzeko caught offside. Yeah, you do have to take a chance when you play that kind of game, but they're confident in the way that they're regimented at the back. Habit to acquire his team of uh, taking a step towards doing that. 